How y'all doing? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody. Uh, I got all my leftover uh, coyote baits, lures, and urine sitting out here that I got left over from this season. Um, one of the biggest things that you see online, people are always asking, you know, how do you store your leftover trapping supplies, your baits, lures, and urines? And people get get really uh, carried away with thinking that the urine is going to go bad. The, the, lure maker, the lure makers will just flat out tell you, just keep it out of the sun and it'll last for a long time. I've got, I've got some urine here from Wiser Western Lures. It's at least four years old, four or five years old right in there. Um, this is what's left over of a gallon that I got from him and I caught coyotes on it this year. So, I mean, that if there was something wrong with that, urine I, I don't think i'd have made a catch with it so um of course you know if you're like me you're always going to buy fresh stuff every year anyway but not having to throw out everything you don't have to buy as much you know you can you can just get another bottle or two of some fresh stuff um this year i tried this urines from rusats i got four bottles of each one of these the pro shot and the the private stock and this is what I got left over, about three quarters of a bottle, bottle or so here. Um, so, yeah, like I said, no reason to get rid of your old stuff. And I've, I've stored it several different ways throughout the years. I've put it in the freezer before. Um, you know, all you're doing is taking up space in your refrigerator or your freezer. I, I don't think that there's any reason that you need to keep this stuff refrigerated. And the lure makers will tell you, you don't need to keep it refrigerated. So, you know, they're the ones making the stuff. They're the ones that are going to know. But, uh, like I said, and that, like they said, just, just keep it out of sunlight and it's going to be fine. Now, I keep, I keep everything uh, that stinks really bad. So, the urines and the lures, I'll put them in, uh, in the coffee can here. And put them in the bucket so they're like double contained. Um, so the urines and then whatever lures you got that are really potent. Um, this is some fatal breath from Rusats and it is, it is very, very potent stuff and it's stinking up the shop, you know, right now as we speak here. Um, so I'll put that, put everything that's real potent in the, in the coffee can, put the lid on it. I don't know where my lid is right now, but, uh, and then stick it in the bucket and then pack in the baits and the, and the lures around it. Um, and then I, I just keep it here in the shop. I slide it under the bench here and er everything lasts for, for a long time. Um, some, of these, some of these lures are just as old as that wiser uh, urine, you know, pushing four years old, five years old. And it, it still works, still hammering coyotes. Uh, so... Like I said, just keep everything out of the sunlight and I think you're going to be just fine, you know, and uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So uh, just getting everything put away, getting traps and tools put away. I'll put all my traps into like totes and put the tools in totes, get everything put away. And then uh, the traps, I won't pull them out again until August, September when I clean them up and get them ready for season. And uh, so, yeah, just, just cleaning up, but uh, just wanted to throw out a quick video here on what I do to keep my baits and lures good for the next season. Um, I appreciate you all for tuning in. Take care, and I'll see you out on the line.